This is a lock nut of my car. And if you take a closer look, it's actually quite a unique one. First of all, it has a metric fine fret, M10 by 1.25. It has a 14 millimeter width. Regular would be 17 for M10. And it's also quite high for its size. I could not find anything matching to buy. So I guess the only option I have right now is to make a new one. But first, let's take a closer look what actually a lock nut is. A lock nut, or also known as nylon nut or nylock nut, has a little plastic ring made into them. And the diameter of that ring is smaller than the fret, as you can see. If we're now going to put that nut on a bolt, it first spins freely until the bolt touches the nylon ring. And because the diameter is too small, we cannot turn it anymore by hand. And as you can see, the bolt just makes its way through that nylon ring that was first too small. Once the bolt passed the nylon ring, you have no chance to tighten or loosen that knot by hand anymore, therefore making itself locking. Now let's loosen that knot and take a look what happened. As you can see, the bolt now has pushed a fret into that nylon ring. Therefore, you should never reuse a nylon knot and always replace it. I've cut this lock knot in half so we can take a look inside. Here we can see the nylon ring, but how did it got in here? Well, this section right here was actually straight at first. Then you insert the nylon ring and then you deform the top. So it kind of like clamps the ring in here. And that's all that's to it. So all I need to make my own lock nut is just machining the nut itself, but leave the top section straight, make some nylon rings and make a pressing tool to bring them actually together. Let's go.
So this is it. DIY lock nut. Worked all as planned and looking very good. And as you can see, it has the exact same dimensions as the original one. Now let's see if it actually works. So, and this is it. It works very well, as you can see. DIY lock nut. Thanks for watching.